It's not the sort of thing you expect to be on sale at a Pasco County sit-go station. Next to the Slim Jims and the lottery tickets, deputies say they found crack and meth pipes out in the open. Peter Bernard is on the night before us in Trilby, north of Dade City. Right there at the register, in a glass case ready for sale, four uniformed deputies visited this sitco at Trilby Road and US 98. Were, were they selling meth and crack pipes here? No. A clerk at the store insists he knows nothing about the items deputies say they found. We're doing a story about a bust here where they found meth and crack pipes being sold in the store. What do you know about that? No idea. Pasco deputies got a tip about the items on sale. This comes after several much publicized past raids by Sheriff Nako on stores selling pipes and spice throughout the county. I guess people can't take the hint, but hopefully this is a good example of what happens if people keep selling drug paraphernalia at their stores. Stores can sell certain items, but they must display a sign posted at the entrance stating drug paraphernalia is located on the premises and people under 18 are prohibited without a parent or guardian. Any sign out front to warn of such? No sign at all. The only signs I found advertises beer, cigarettes, deli, and groceries. Especially when it's right there at eye level with a six or seven year old as soon as you walk into a gas station. I mean, that's not really setting a great example to our youth. Is there somebody you can call that we can talk to, like a manager or something like that? They can't reach nobody right now. I'm told the store's owner got a misdemeanor citation and the $56,000 fine. I think $56,000 would give me a good win to stop uh, selling whatever I'm selling. Sitco issued a statement saying that it does not own the stations that they are independently owned, that it prohibits the sale of items that may be illegal. In Trilby, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.